Yo, yo, my name is Nick, and I like the snow. I run things at Big Bear Weather and Mo. From the peaks to the valleys, I'm in the know, bringing you the forecast wherever you go. Oh yeah, did I mention that I have a site? BigBearWeatherMore.com. Oh baby, that's right. Always make sure you tune into the live and like my videos and subscribe. <laughs>
But hey, if, if you guys want to continue helping helping the channel, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Check out a bunch of our merchandise. We have a whole bunch of really, really killer stuff. And uh, those of you who do get it, please, please wear it with pride. Worked many years for that to come to fruition. Never imagined it would. <laughs> but it has. And now seeing our merchandise, guys, up here on just random people, it's so cool. Never, ever, ever imagined that that would happen. And uh, regarding the ski resorts and how late they're going to stay open, it's a good question. It's a good question. I, I keep on hearing different things. I keep on hearing around the 7th is when Bear is probably going to close and a week later, Snow Summit. But if we keep on getting storms like this you never know however next week though guys we're supposed to be up into the 60s and nighttime low temperatures near 40 degrees so things are drastically changing this is possibly gonna be it for our good sized storms. but don't forget every single may since i've lived here every single may we have received um snow at least i think every may I think three or four of the nine Mother's Days that I've lived here, it snowed on Mother's Day weekend, which is just awesome. And I have recorded, I, re I believe one time on May 31st, I think it was like three or four inches of snow. I was so hoping that it would last a few more hours to have snow falling in June. Just so I can say I've, I've been here when it snowed in June. guys some of the potholes are getting really bad again as I mentioned in the beginning please be extra cautious uh, again it's about a block and a half when you pass the dam um, I haven't been out there today but I got a text message saying it's really really bad so just just assume it's in part of both lanes you guys okay be extra extra cautious What snow do you guys think we're gonna get? I think my original prediction of four inches, I think I'm gonna drop that to like three inches. For an average over the area. I hope it's double that, like they're predicting, but Take this. 
this all the way back to Big Bear Boulevard. Now we're kind of driving along along the lake with these homes here to the left. Kind of a, a few feet off the lake, but the next right turn we make on the next part of Lakeview, that will be um, driving right along the lake, Lakeview houses, or just the, the lake houses, I should say. Next, not this weekend, but next weekend, my wife's going to Las Vegas with her mom to go uh, to spend time. But her mom bought some Mariah Carey tickets, which is really, really sweet of her. I was invited, of course, but as you guys know, I don't have any time to be able to, to leave town. I am held hostage to everything that I do up here, and now I'm seeing some snowflakes. But yeah, I am held hostage. I want to go. I don't want my family to think that I, I'm, I'm never wanting to spend time with them. But I, I do want to spend time with them. I just don't have the time. And I'm too scared to leave because I don't want to lose any business. Business is important. Man, I just wish I was smart enough and was a millionaire, you know? But most, most of those millionaires, you know, had to work for years to get to where they're at. And then they were finally able to take time. But yeah, it's definitely snowing now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know if you guys can tell looking at my headlights, but it's definitely snowing. 34 degrees. Also, four days ago, I quit using those nicotine pouches. And I'm struggling. I did get the patch. But yeah, I'm... Uh, trying to improve everything in my life, you know. But man, one of those pouches sounds so good right now. Scaring me, Smalls. Yeah, this is great. It's definitely some snowflakes coming down right now. this part of Big Bear Boulevard guys try to stay in, in this lane if you can because this that that right lane is, is riddled with potholes and nasty ones the not fun kind this one has them as well it's just not quite as bad we're gonna take some back streets 
I've already been on Big Bear Boulevard for the first half of this video. So we're gonna go through some of these neighborhoods to uh, get to the rest of the drive. Meadow Park, that's it, Meadow Park. All right. Those little snowflakes are still coming down. Again, the best way to be able to tell is just to look down by my headlights. And that will show you all you need to see. Looks like they're picking up as well. You guys know I'll be back out pretty soon as soon as we start getting some heavier snow and it starts to turn white out here I will be back out giving you guys an update we don't know what time that that will be it could be around midnight it could be sooner it could be later but I never let you guys down I'm always doing the best I can to make sure I give you the best updates possible Definitely snowing a lot, a lot more now. This is the most we've seen on this drive so far. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get this posted for y'all. Thanks again for always being here and supporting the channel. Can't thank you enough. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to help support the channel. Or if you want to help with little donations, you can go to the description of the video. And it'll show you how you can uh, send to Venmo, Cash App, stuff like that. It all is super helpful, you guys. Thank you. And uh, don't forget, if you're coming up here for the last week or so of skiing, to rent skis or snowboards make sure you go to get boards on big bear boulevard all their information will be in the description of this video and the comment section if you mention you're a friend of the channel they will take care of you 
And if some people in your group have their own equipment and they bring it in and say that they're a friend of the channel, they will wax their skis and snowboards free of charge. So take advantage of that, you guys. It's usually between $20 and $40 value to get your skis and snowboard waxed. So take advantage of that and uh, go show these awesome people some support. They deserve it. They aren't known as the best up here for no reason. And again, thank you. But in the meantime, peace out. Always be good to each other. Thank you for showing me a lot of love and respect. And I will talk to you guys later. It's April 4th, 2024.